Okay, so if you just look at the title of this video, it sounds like I'm accusing Nicole Arbor of being an abusive four-letter expletive. I dare not say the four-letter C word because that is just begging for a flag. But, now most of my viewers are sports fans, so you're probably not even familiar with this story. But I also watch a lot of mainstream YouTube channels, one of which is a woman by the name of Nicole Arbor. Now, recently, well, recently, a few months ago, she put out a fat shaming video called Dear Fat People, where she talks about obese people and how disgustingly, slovenly nasty we are, because I consider myself a fat, obese person. Uh... Anyway, that's where she has garnered a lot of her fame from the negative feedback she got from that. Well, she's dating a guy named Matthew Santoro, who is also another large YouTuber, uh, far more popular than Nicole, and uh, viewed just generally as a good guy, humorous guy, with great videos. I'm not sure about the exact count, but I think he has like... 5 million subscribers, maybe something like that, whereas Nicole is yet to reach the million mark. So anyway, apparently, these two were dating, and apparently, according to Matthew, Nicole was abusing him physically and mentally. Now, if you watch both of these videos his accusing her and hers defending herself you are left with but one choice who to believe the popular consensus right now is that Matthew is telling the truth and you know that Nicole was abusive to him and I guess did get physical with him Whereas, on the flip side of that, she denies the whole thing. So, where do I come in to all of this? Nowhere, actually, because I don't know either one of them. They're just popular YouTubers that I happen to watch. I actually found out about the whole thing through Boogie2988. I think that's Boogie. Boogie, the big guy, uh, does the Francis videos. I've been watching him for years. But anyway... So yeah, this is the latest drama on YouTube. Far beyond the TTC. This goes far beyond the TTC. And is much more serious than any drama that has ever happened in our very small little group of YouTubers. You know, we're talking about some pretty serious accusations. Now, Nicole has challenged Matthew to come on her channel and do a lie detector test. She said she would run it live and would have the test giver um, administer the test to both of them. To my knowledge, I don't know if there's been a response. Like I said, I don't know either of these people. This is just all hearsay from what I'm seeing in other videos. And of course, everybody and their brother is doing videos about Matthew Santoro and Nicole Armour case in point, me talking about it. It's just the popular thing on YouTube right now. You can either search either one of their names and dive into this story if you're interested in that kind of thing or not. I'm curious to my very, very small viewer base if you know anything about this. Who do you believe? And if not, you know, if you happen to go check this situation out, then come back to my channel and tell me who you think is lying. The reason I even made a video about this is because on his video, I left the comment, one of the two is lying. And of course, that comment alone has garnered a buku of replies, most of which are people defending Matthew. I'm not defending Matthew. I'm not defending Nicole. I don't have a dog in the fight. I personally don't give a shit whether 
she smacked the hell out of him or not. That's, you know, I, I'm one of these people that I've never understood that line of abuse. Uh, and I'm certainly not belittling abuse or making fun of it. There's certainly nothing to be made fun of about spousal abuse, boyfriend abuse, girlfriend abuse, child abuse, adult abuse, any kind of physical or mental abuse from one human being to another is fucked up. That's the only way to put it. It's just fucked up and wrong. And, you know, for anybody watching this video that may have been abused or is currently being abused, my sincerest... I feel for you. The question I have always had is, why do people put up with it? Especially men. Me, I'm not sticking around any bitch that fucking takes a swing at me. You know, I'm just not. I had one woman in my lifetime take a swing at me. That was it. I'm not gonna lie, I ended up going back to her because uh, that's some good pussy and, you know, I'm a fat guy and you don't get a lot of pussy back in. <laughs> but no, seriously, I, I've never understood that whole thing. So that's why I would never criticize it. Now we go back to my old favorite saying, don't criticize what you don't understand. So... Just a random video. Uh, what say you, viewers, if you say anything? Have a good one.